Hello everyone, I am here to give an introduction on the course basics of artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence process by machine, especially computer systems. Specific applications of AI include expert system, natural language processing, speech recognition, and machine vision. Nowadays, we are using Google Search, Apple Siri, Amazon Alexa. All these are based on AI. Not only this, China has a university that has cameras, which tells whether students are actually studying or scrolling reels while sitting back in the classroom. It basically means giving an artificial brain to the computer system. If you look into the history of AI, it was introduced in 1940s and 50s. During the starting phase, AI was not given much importance. It was not recognized as something important. It didn't even receive any funding from the government during the starting phase of its development. Uh, in 1955, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence. Since then, AI gain, started gaining importance gradually. In 1980, it became so popular that the year was celebrated as the year of artificial intelligence. In 2000, the landmark of AI establishment was achieved. And this establishment, this achievement was not easy. There came the phases of various AI winter. AI winters uh, simply means that a period of time when there was no development and no research and no work on AI. If we compare our traditional technologies with AI, we can see that normal technologies, traditional technologies like MS Word and MS PowerPoint, no matter how many documents we write there, no matter how many presentation and assignment we made and saved there, it will remain same. It will keep on performing the same functionalities for which it was made for. It will never improve or never acquire any new feature. While if we take the example of AI devices like traffic cameras, they keep on getting better and improving themselves as they capture data of more and more vehicles. So simply we can say that AI learns from the data and improves performance from the past experience. For this we have to give more and more data to AI to become it to make it more efficient. So uh, if we we'll, if we'll look in today's world that everyone is using Google, Facebook, Instagram, hence AI has access to such a large amount of data. This large amount of data can make it even more intelligent than human being. This type of questions arises in our mind. So for this, we have to look more on, we have to get more knowledge on AI. If we take the types of AI or categories of AI, there are two types of AI, general AI and narrow AI. General AI has the potential to perform any intellectual task that a human can, making it highly versatile and adaptable across a wide range of domains and tasks. While well, narrow AI is specialized in a specific task or a narrow set of tasks. In general, we can say that general AI is the one that has the power to do the task that a human being can, while the narrow AI can do only a specific task for which it is designed or made for. As of now, true general AI does not exist. Achieving general AI is a long-term goal and remain a subject of theoretical research. We, are have, we have access to the narrow AI nowadays and it is being used in the industries. If you take the example of Tesla cars, they are performing well on the roads of US while they can't perform good on the road of India. This is also an example of narrow AI because they are designed to made on the work of, they are designed to made to run on the roads of US. While the roads of India have different challenges, hence they cannot perform well here. If we take the, uh, similarly, if we compare this situation with human being, if a, a human being is taught to drive the car, then he can drive the car on the roads of US also and on the roads of India also. So we can say that human have less computational power than AI, but they can do a variety of tasks, while AI has higher computational power, but it can do only a particular task. If we take the example of cancer detection machine, it, it looks into the scan of human being to predict how much possibility of cancer is there. This machine can only do a prediction of how much percentage a person is liable to cancer. While if a doctor looks at the scans of a patient, then the doctor can do much more in that situation.